Libra, welcome back to the channel. Monica Love here at The Love Messages. So today we're going to be doing your reading from the 5th to the 11th of July. This is going to be a general reading, so it may resonate with you, it may not. If it does resonate with you, there will be a link in the description box for the extended. So Libra, in this reading, I'm going to be taking a look at past, present, and future for you. I'm going to clarify the cards and pull some advice. Your challenge is the Five of Cups, and what you don't see coming at the bottom of the deck is the Lovers in Reverse. All right, so Libra, your challenge is the Five of Cups energy. I feel with the Five of Cups here, you know, as your challenge, there's something here that was lost. Okay, some, some sort of sad situation, maybe something happened here, maybe there was a falling out um, with you and, and someone that you really care about. Even though you did go through this with this person, there's still an energy surrounding uh, you at this time and this person that there is a possibility for things to really come back together. Um, you know, for you to have a relationship with this person, the relationship may not be the same as it was in the past but there is still an opportunity here okay so we're going to clarify this and we're going to see what the message here is for you in a moment in the recent past you have the three of pentacles the wheel of fortune in reverse and the magician in the past i'm getting there was a missed opportunity here okay with the wheel of fortune in reverse there was a missed opportunity here it's like someone in the past wanted to cooperate with you. You wanted to cooperate with this person. One of you, whether that was you or your person, one of you was really controlling, okay? Wanted to control the situation, wanted to manipulate here with the magician, and that may have led to some sort of opportunity um, being lost here in the past. In the present moment, you have the moon, the hierophant, and the two of cups. I'm really getting a lot of you with the Two of Cups here um, at the center of your reading. There's a strong connection here. But either you and this person aren't talking right now or you're disconnected in some sort of way. Some of you are still in a commitment with this person. You're either still in a marriage with this person, you're still married to them, and you don't really know what's going to happen with this connection. Okay, so even though you may not be with this person, if you look at the two of cups here, you see these two people, they're at odds with one another. It's like they have their arms crossed and they, they're, you know, they're at odds with one another. You and this person aren't talking, okay? And you want answers in the present moment in terms of what may happen with you and this person moving forward. In the near future, you have the page of pentacles, the tower, and you have the seven of swords. Something here in the near future um, definitely comes to a head for you and this person. I'm really getting with the Seven of Swords here in the Tower, some sort of deceptive situation, okay? Um, this is something that could have happened in the past, or it could have been something that is currently happening right now. It's definitely something that has happened that is leading to this Tower moment uh, in the near future. We're gonna see why this Tower moment is happening and what this may mean for you. Now, what you don't see coming at the bottom of the deck, Libra, you have the Lovers in Reverse. You have the Ten of Swords in Reverse. The Eight of Pentacles in Reverse. The Knight of Cups in Reverse. The Devil in Reverse. And the King of Wands in Reverse, okay? So what I'm getting here for many of you is there's something here about, you know, there's a lot of issues here that were happening in the past, 
a lot of issues. There was a lot of codependency. There was a lot of um, obsession here in the past. I'm also getting someone here who was not reliable with their emotions. One day they were, you know, all in it with you. The next day, not so much. A lot of on and off here in the past, okay? And this may have been the reason, um, this may have been the, the reason, Libra, why this person started to become closed off or you started to become closed off. Things stopped working here in the past with the Eight of Pentacles, Ten of Swords here. Even though things stopped working, it's like you didn't want this situation to really completely end. A lot of you may have um, separated yourself or removed yourself from this person, okay? So even though you and this person are not together or there's a disconnect here with the lovers in reverse, it, it's like there's a, a lack of wanting something here to come to an end. It's like about to come to an end or it should be coming to an end, but it hasn't completely reached that point yet. Okay, so let's get into your reading, Libra, and let's see what's going on. clarify your challenge so the five of cups is clarified by the two of wands you have the queen of pentacles and the tower Something here led to a separation, okay, between you and this person. There was definitely a tower moment here. For a small percentage of you, I feel like someone could have gotten the way of you and this person. For others of you, it could have been financial. There could have been some sort of financial situation here. Either way, your challenge has a lot to do with... Um, there's something here about accepting something here, Libra, okay? Accepting the fact that maybe the reason why this tower moment possibly happened between you and this person is because something here had to change. Something here couldn't keep going the way it was going because it wasn't built on a solid foundation, okay? So the reason why you and this person may be in separation right now or things are not working out between you and them is because there's something here that needs to change Okay, within the dynamic. For many of you, someone here has gotten in the way of you and this person. Um, and again, it's just showing what isn't stable in your connection and what needs to change. So your challenge has a lot to do with you recognizing what needed to change or what needs to change in the dynamic of the relationship between you and this person. What needs to transform and change, okay? And this is what I feel like you and your person are doing right now, um, possibly in separation, okay? For others of you, if it's not a connection or a relationship, because I feel for some of you, um, you may have had a breakup and you may have completely disconnected from this person. You may be choosing to move into a new direction in your life and that may be where you're at right now, okay? So let's talk about the recent past. I'm going to clarify the Wheel of Fortune and the recent past in reverse. The Wheel of Fortune is clarified by the Three of Wands. We have the Nine of Cups and we have the Emperor. Okay, someone here felt in the recent past that they were constantly waiting. Okay, they were constantly waiting for stability, happiness, fulfillment, and they weren't getting it. There was a very manipulative energy here in the past. Okay, so no matter how much you tried to work with this person, everything was always twisted in the past. It was always twisted, whether you were twisting reality or this person was twisting reality. Someone here was twisting or manipulating reality to fit them, to benefit them, okay? And one of you wasn't able to find uh, fulfillment within this situation, okay? So there was a longing here for stability, a longing for things to move to the next level and they didn't here in the past, okay? Most of it could have been based on manipulation, because the magician's here. Magician is very manipulative, even though it is a manifestation uh, manifestation energy. The magician can't. The magician can't create by themselves. They need to work together. There's something here about you and this person needing to learn how to work better together. 
someone here is too controlling or was too controlling in the past. Okay. Now in the present moment, there is a falling out between you and this person. Some of you are not even talking. Okay. And something is hidden from you when it comes to this connection. We're going to find out what is being hidden from you with the moon here. Um, you want answers is what I'm getting. So we're going to see what that may mean for you. I'm going to clarify the two of cups. Why did you and this person have this argument or falling out? Why did this relationship come to an end for some of you? The Two of Cups in reverse is clarified by the High Priestess, the Sun, and you have the Fool. You know what I'm getting here, Libra? I'm really strongly getting with the High Priestess here in the present moment. You and this person are communicating, okay? Even though there's silence, because the High Priestess often, you know, represents silence. She represents spirituality and tarot. Even though you and this person are disconnected, I definitely see a disconnect, even some anger here between you and this person. There's still a strong connection that's holding you and this person together. But this connection you have, it's not a connection that is physical. It's more of a telepathic energy where you think about this person and you may be wondering to yourself, are they thinking about me too? Are they wondering what I'm up to? In a way they are, okay? Because a lot of you are still maybe legally married to this person or you still have some sort of commitment, okay? Even if it's this person having their clothes at your house, okay? Whatever it may be. So I see that you and this person both wanna have a new beginning with one another. You both wanna bring illumination to this situation in the present moment. Let's clarify what's being hidden from you when it comes to this commitment. The moon is clarified by the star, the wheel of fortune, and the eight of cups. You want to know something? What's really important here for you to know with the moon and the eight of cups? Some of you in the present moment are wondering, should I just walk away from this? Should I just disconnect from it? Maybe, maybe it is really over between me and this person. Maybe we're never going to see each other again. Um, a lot of you need to recognize that if you are being called, okay, if you are being called to walk away and disconnect from this, you're doing it not because you don't love this person or you don't care. It's because something here needs to change, okay? You and this person cannot repair this connection or relationship with one another if you don't disconnect from it because there was so much, there was so many power struggles here in the past of wanting to control that a lot of you in the present moment, and I don't feel like this is just you, I feel like this is your person as well too, there's a need to, to let go of control here, okay? This is what you don't know, this is what you don't see because Libra, you want this situation to be better. You want your relationship with this person to be better. You don't want it to be cold. You don't want it to be calculating. You know, you want it to be loving, okay? And that's what it's telling me here, okay? The, the Wheel of Fortune and the, the star. So the, so the moon is saying, if you feel emotional about this connection and you don't completely understand, understand and understand why this is all happening to you, spiritually what you need to know is, is that sometimes the best course of action is to completely do nothing and just walk away. And what that is doing is the universe, which is very much connected to the Wheel of Fortune, okay, is going to create some sort of change. Not only is it gonna create the change that you want, which is very positive with the Wheel of Fortune and the Star, it's also gonna create some sort of healing but this healing, you it's not something that you could see. It's something that's happening in the spiritual realms between you and this person. The Hierophant energy is very spiritual as well too, okay? So there's something here about preserving your commitment or connection with this person. And it's definitely something here that may be out of your control, okay? So in the near future, there's definitely a tower moment. What's the message here from the tower in the near future? The tower is clarified by the four of pentacles, the two of cups, 
and the devil. Yeah, the reason why something here is breaking down in the near future is because something within your connection needs to change. Someone here is very obsessive. You could be dealing with a Capricorn here, maybe a Scorpio. I'm also getting a Taurus. Okay, so something here is going to change in the near future. Let's clarify the Seven of Swords. Seven of Swords is clarified by the world, the Nine of Wands, and the Eight of Wands. I see you eventually communicating with this person, Libra. Um, you could be telling this person, you know what? I want to change. There's something here about you wanting to change. And it's because you're seeing your relationship, your dy the dynamic of this connection that you may be in or one that maybe you were once in. Okay, everyone is at different stages here. It's like there's an opportunity for a new beginning in the near future. Page of Pentacles is here, but it's like you and this person are going to have to start from scratch. And there's something here about rebuilding trust between you and this person. There's something here about letting go of toxicity, um, maybe behaviors that really weren't, they weren't really helping this, this connection grow. Okay. So you're going to know if your relationship with this person is going to stand the test of time. Are they willing to change? Are you willing to change? Okay. Because that's the, the energy that I'm seeing here. Um, at this time. So let's see what the advice is here for you. What is the advice? The advice here is the justice, the king of pentacles, and the two of pentacles. A lot of you right now, uh, the advice here is you have a decision whether or not you want to set this, this um, relationship or connection right a lot of you have more power than you know or you think you have you have the king of pentacles here um there may be some sort of financial leverage that you have in this situation either way your advice here is to make a decision about this situation in order to bring fairness and justice to it because right now it's not in a place of fairness it's not in a place of justice okay and that may be something that has to come from you and start with you Okay, at this time. So this is what I have for you, Libra. I hope this reading helped. Thank you so much for tuning in and I'll see you on the next one.